All right, let's get started. So good day, everyone. My name is Marie Muldowney, and I'm the Managing Director at CSI and Moody's Analytics Company. I'm pleased to welcome you to the PFP graduation. This is the second year that we are holding a special graduation of the PFPs, those who have completed their requirements of the designation since November 2020. So just a few housekeeping items to start. First of all, Canada is situated on the traditional territories of many First Nations places which have long served as sites of meeting and exchange. We recognize and respect the traditional custodians of the lands and waters on which we meet today. So today's webinar is being recorded. We ask that no one record this webinar without Moody's explicit written permission and no one has permission to quote any of the comments made during the event. We'll be making a video available that streams the names of all the graduates being recognized this year and we'll show the video at the end of this graduation. So congratulations to the graduates who've received their PFP. And I'd like to welcome two speakers, uh, Stuart Gray, who is chair of our PFP Council and the director of the Financial Planning Center of Expertise at RBC, and Carissa Lucreziano, who is vice chair of our PFP Council and vice president of financial and investment advice at CIBC. So normally, a grad would involve a cap and gown walking across the stage and having you uh, having your name called out and receiving a parchment. So it's hard to do that on a national scale. And so we thought we would do a, a virtual graduation that at least gives you a sense of closure and, and gives you the award. So congratulations to our graduates on the hard work and time invested to achieve the designation. Félicitations, nous sommes très fiers de vous des PFP et de vos accomplissements. Vous avez travaillé fort, suivant plusieurs cours et examens. C'est un effort énorme, souvent avec des responsabilités au travail, à la maison avec votre famille et des sacrifices pour étudier. Vous êtes impressionnant. So you hold a PFP. What does that mean? We created the PFP some time ago to, de to respond to the demographic shifts in technology and the integration of financial services. Financial institutions are large agricultural operations offering all kinds of services in banking, securities, trust, and insurance. And there's a great need for advice among Canadians. A part of the population is in investment mode and would benefit from comprehensive financial advice of the type that PFPs can provide. There's a lot of complexity in the information being provided to clients and much complexity in the products and services being offered. And so the PFP is key. So today we are celebrating 666 graduates who have completed the, um, the PFP and we have 5,719 graduates in good standing today. We also have many people have accepted their badges. So if you go to the next uh, slide, we, try, we strive really to make your designation known. So in the month of November, we held a series of webinars aimed at Canadians and advisors to showcase the expertise of our PFPs and provide financial insights. You can also make your, visible, your designation visible by posting your designation uh, through your digital badge on social media. And so it's really easy when you get your digital badge uh, accepted and then post it on your LinkedIn. You can post it in the section uh, under licenses and certificates and that gives you visibility. And so as, uh, as people join LinkedIn, they see your, your designation and the designation becomes more known. And we're really pleased at the number of people who are posting their designations. The PFP is also a very serious um, designation. It's overseen by a PFP council. And I would like to invite Stuart Gray to say a few words about the council and then invite Carissa, who will say a few words about the PFP. So over to you, Stuart. Mm, great, thanks, Marie. And uh, Carissa and I are thrilled to be joining you again this year for today's graduation ceremony. On behalf of the PFP Advisory Council, we'd like to congratulate you on achieving your personal financial planner designation and wish you all success in your future careers as accredited financial planners. The PFP Advisory Council's mandate is really to help shape and promote the PFP designation. And we support the Canadian Securities Institute by providing guidance and direction around the designation. In addition to this, 
There's also an ethics committee that ensures the integrity of all of our designations and really handles any complaints against our individual designation holders. Our current council is made up of nine individuals, including the chair and vice chair. They hail from BC, Alberta, and Ontario, and they represent individual financial planners, our education partners, and industry representatives from financial institutions. Marie already introduced Carissa Lucreziano, our vice chair, who's joining us on the call. Over the last year, the Advisory Council has refreshed the five-year strategic plan for the PFP designation, and we've reviewed and approved the updated PFP professional competency profiles. So working in your best interests, best of luck to you. Carissa, I'll pass the call to you. Thanks so much, Stuart. Appreciate it. And thank you, Marie and uh, the Canadian Securities Institute for having us here today. A big thank you to the Canadian Securities Institute for putting on this graduation ceremony for the second year in a row, acknowledging and advocating for the financial planning industry in Canada, and most importantly, to celebrate all of you, the 666 graduates of the PFP who have made a commitment to the financial planning profession through education. As Stuart mentioned, um, in terms of the PFP Council, I've had the pleasure of being part of the PFP Council as Vice Chair. We're a group of industry professionals commit time and passion to continued evolution and advocacy of the designation. Marie mentioned the demand and need for advice is more prevalent than ever before. Even we think about the last 22 plus months and it's really showed uh, the importance on focusing on financial well-being and really the focus on the impact of professional advice. And that's what all of you stand for in terms of helping Canadians grow wealth into the future. Uh, through your PFP journey, you have all enriched your competency and professional practices like building and growing client relationships with thought leadership and on how you run a successful advisory practice, which is the foundation of the role of an advisor, while also looking at the holistic picture of financial planning for Canadians today. Congratulations to all of you for enriching your knowledge and skills through the PFP designation for yourself, your clients and Canadians that will become your clients, as well as the institution that you present, uh, represent. Congratulations again. Thank you, Stuart, and thank you, Carissa. Thank you for both uh, for addressing the graduates and talking a little bit about our council and about the PFP, and also for working on the council because we have uh, we appreciate the the time and effort that um, our council members put in to work uh, with us to ensure that the competency grids and the exams are um, very very much up to the the standard that is required. I'd now like to move to the awards section of our. Um, of our graduation, I'd like to recognize the three uh, students who uh, achieved the top marks in the PFP. Um, and they are uh, Munish Garag from CIBC, Yunyan Liao from CIBC, and Ernst Boxler from CIBC. These three students have achieved the top marks in the two examinations at the end of the program, and we congratulate them for their efforts. It's uh, quite a, a mark of accomplishment to be able to uh, get the kind of grades that they got in the program. So congratulations to all three. You can move to the next slide. So just in closing, our students and our graduates are really key to our success and the success of our financial institutions. And ultimately, they are the success of our, of our Canadian clients and clients abroad. Um, we are all trying and striving to uh, raise the level of wealth and well being of all Canadians. You become ambassadors for qualifications and for competency and for confidence. You're a mark of what the PFP is. And we're striving to give you more. We have resources available, and as you become a designation holder, you become eligible to uh, have access to our resources site that provides all kinds of articles that will help um, advisors. It's really, really an, a, a site that is specific for advisors. We also offer webinars on a regular basis, and we are always looking for speakers and always looking for subject areas. So if there are areas you think we should address in a webinar, we'd be happy to hear from you. And if you think you could present a webinar, please step up. We're happy to have um, our PFPs and other of our uh, designation holders make presentations to their fellow designation holders. 
every year we will hold a graduation and we hope that you will continue on and achieve other designations and awards uh, to keep your professional development going. And finally, there are ways for you to give back, obviously providing webinars to your fellow um, graduates, but also uh, to be a part of the advisory council. We're always looking for members every year that contribute to the quality um, and high standard that the PFP is. I'd like to thank Stuart and Carissa for addressing the graduates and close with my heartfelt congratulations. If you go to the next slide, um, congratulations again. And we'll start the video that uh, goes through the names of the graduates. And with that, you can leave the, the ceremony at any time. Um, and thank you very much for attending. We really appreciate the effort you've put in. And with that, very short, uh, but very significant, thank you very much for attending. Um, and we'll let you get on with the rest of your day.